What's up YouTube? Gabe at it with another deck profile. I'm going to be doing my GBT10 updated Victor deck because Nova Grapes are nice. So, uh, the starter is still Extreme Battler Kabutron because, um, didn't really get a good starter in the set, but Kabutron's nice because it's GB1 after it boosts, counter bus 1, shove the soul, stand a card with 2k, so it enables another attack, it gives a modest power up, so, it's nice, you don't really run Rumble anymore because the deck really does enough standing as is, so Rumble really doesn't do much good anymore. So, then we're running four copies of the new Excessive Battler Victor, who's actually a pretty sweet card. It's uh, GB2 when it stands due to a card effect, your front row at the time gets 2k. So, that's pretty nice because all of it gets 2k, and if you can stand it multiple times, you're giving your front row 4k. Or if you've got two Victor and do a, some standy shenanigans, you can get some pretty massive power-ups to your front row. But it also has a really nice stride skill, which is, um, like the original Victor, it gives the G-Unit an ability, which is when it attacks you, Soul Blast 1, pick a card with Rush, stand its column. So what's great about that first is it's not a Counter Blast, so it helps solve the Counter Blast issues that uh, Nova Grappler has, but also it's an entire column stand, and it procs two rush abilities, so it can do some pretty insane shenanigans. So this is a pretty sweet card. So it's a definite four of. And because this is also still a Victor deck, we're running four copies of Extreme Battler Victor. Uh, one of them is SP because I got it for a steal, which is nice. I've done, what, four or five profiles on Victor. You should know what this does. GB2 stand something, two cards get 5k, and give a Vanguard an ability where you can stand something with 5k. Another solid card, but excessive is both the ride target and the call target, so that's always fun. Uh, next, four copies of Cool Hank, because it's just it's one of the best GB ones in the game. Stand something with 5k. It's sweet, it's great with rush. Um, four copies of the promo, Extreme Battler, Severed Temper, all of which I acquired myself because Miles is a fucking Jew. <laughs> um, fuck you, Miles. <laughs> so, this is literally just a better version of Sazanda. It's when it's GB2, Rush, when it stands, if you have a Victor, Vanguard gets 5k. So, it's just Sazanda's GB1, but it also has Rush, so it can work with the new Victor. But also, for no really necessary reason, it has another ability that when you drive trick a grade 3, you can retire one of your opponent's front row rear guards with less or equal power than Sever. So, granted, it's front row only, so it won't happen a whole lot, but effect destruction in Nova Grappler is always nice to have. So, yeah, that's cool. And then we're running three copies of Sazanda because um, I don't like Arborail in this deck, because um, it doesn't really, Armor Rail itself doesn't finish you games. Um, Zazanda can like deal you damage. And Excessive Battler is, uh, Excessive Victor is stand a card in the column with Rush. So if you have a Rush card behind Zazanda, you can still stand Zazanda, so it can still get its 5k. So it's still a good card and can still, de still deal some damage. I just prefer it over Arbor Rail, because I'd rather have another stand target than another card that can stand something when the deck really does plenty. On to the grade ones, running two copies of Furious Puncher, which is a literally just a grade one Sazanda when it stands GB1 5k. It also has another ability that you will never use, you will legitimately never use it unless you're playing like Mega Colony somehow. It's a GB1 kill itself, stand a rear guard, and just stand a rear guard. But it's an act ability, so you can't do it during the battle phase. The reason this exists is because in so, for some reason in GB10 they gave some, um, they gave rush cards a bunch of random like main phase rest abilities to gain some advantage. So they also gave it main phase restand to proc rush abilities during the main phase. But that's just not really good. So this is just a hilarious hard counter. To, that really is nothing more than a hilarious hard counter to Mega Colony and that's it. Uh, then, we're running four copies of Extreme Battler Malayaki, which is f fucking nominal. It's GB1, 
If you have a Victor Vanguard, give a card in the same column as it the ability that when it rush, when it stands, it gets another ability. So it basically gets a red text that gives itself a red text. Um, give on attack, give it give two cards 4k. What's nice about this is while it doesn't have rush, it still technically gives rush. So, like I said with Susanda, this column can be stood by excessive victor because this technically has rush given from Malyaki. Malyaki is a great card. It can make power ridiculous. Malyaki, the, the ability it gives stacks. So you, the first time a card stands and attacks, it gives two cards 4k. Then you can give four cards 4k or two cards 8k and so on. So Malyaki is a really good card to have. Then... Because this is a G deck, we're running four Stride Fodder that can search for any copy of Victor. It's Stride Fodder. Uh, next, we're running four copies of Lady Cyclone. Because while well, Nova Grappler doesn't have much of a counterblast issue anymore, the unflip is definitely nice. But also, there is literally no good Rush PG. I don't even think there is a Rush PG. I'm pretty sure all it got in set 10 was like a Quintet Wall. So, like, yeah. What about that one Extreme Battler PG? From BT6? Yeah. Not a Rush PG. Well, well, no. It's also just a bad PG. True. Um, honestly, what they should have done is just made a PG that's Rush, at the end of the turn, pay some cost, like a Soul Blast or a Discard, bounce it. That would have been a great PG, but Bushi doesn't know how to design cards somehow. So, Lady Cyclone is still good, though. Under the triggers, now... This is where it gets good. So, first off, we're running four copies of the uh, Extreme Battler Break Pass. It's the Victor crit when it attacks, give a uh, shove to Soul 5k and draw. Like, yeah, I don't need to explain why that's good. Next, we're running four copies. Can you explain why that's good, please? Uh, I can't, sorry, I'm mute. Uh, next, we're running four copies of Toughness Jane, which is the new heal from. Uh, BT10. I just like running the most recent triggers that come out of a set just because they're new and I usually get boxes or like st or stuff so it just gives me a reason to use them. Also, she's kind of thick. Like, I, I'd, I'd let her, like, I'd let her step on me. Um, but yeah, it's a heal trigger. It doesn't have a skill because we don't have fighter's collection yet. Next, we're running four copies of the new draw, Mega Hammer Lady. It's a new draw. I'm not good enough to own copies of three minutes, so I have to run that. And we don't have a Margol clone for some reason. And next, we got motherfucking eight draw triggers. Eight draw triggers with Totem Brothers, my weird space squid man. Now, eight draw triggers are great. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Nova Grappler has no... The only Nova Grappler deck with any resource management is Blau. This deck has no superior call engine. It has no draw engine. This gets you the cards you need. You run in the eight draws because Nova's with hand is great. You don't need crits to kill your opponent when you're standing 30 times in a turn anyways. You're running eight draw triggers. That's what's up. And that's it for my enthusiasm for this game. Um, G-Zone. Because we have to imitate Yu-Gi-Oh! some for some reason. Four copies of Medio Kaiser Victor. It's um it's a Victor stride, so if you somehow manage to miss ride in an all Victor grade three lineup, it it got you back. It's uh G flip, gains on hit, stand with 5k and GB3 stand with 5k. So it's it's a good generic free stride. It's good. Next, four copies of Victoplasma. It's a restander that you can use on your first stride if you have the counter blasts. It's a good card. Next, favorite champ Victor. This is the other reason why you run eight draw triggers. So, GB2, at the end of the battle, after an attack, so not on attack, counter blast two, discard one, for every face up G unit, stand a card. So, that's why the original Victor is nice, because you can go into it twice, you have four face up G zone for no cost, and you can uh, stand four. And then after you stand those cards, if you stood three or more, you discard three to counter charge one and stand itself with drive minus two. Now, what's great about that is nowhere on this card does it say the phrase once per turn. So if 
by, you know, some impossible miracle, you have a huge hand, you can use it multiple times in a turn. I think my record against Richard was I uh, did 16 attacks in one go, because, you know, you run eight draw triggers, so that's possible. Also, it countercharges itself, which is hilarious. So, yeah. Now, this is also where it gets hilarious, because these 9G units are the only strides, aside from mandatory Seabreeze. The, the other six cards are G-guards. The reason why is Nova Grappler has a not really great stride pool. You don't run the Blau stride because you don't run Blau. You don't run the Beast Deity stride because you don't run Beast Deity. You don't run the Ashur Kaiser stride because you don't run Ashur Kaiser. You don't run... Buster? Buster is a, is a worse copy of Favorite Champ Victor. You only and Victoplasma 2. You run Buster if you do not have access to Victoplasma. I have access to Victoplasma, that is why I don't run Buster. Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, you don't run Tribrute because it's literally just Stride Victor, but it doesn't give you a Persona flip, so there's no reason. You don't run the new Moai thing from the set 10. Persona reference. Triggered. You don't run, um, the new Stride from set 10 because it's, um, it's when you drive check a grade 3, you stand something with 5k, you don't run enough grade 3s, this isn't a short Kaiser. Um, and you don't run Tribrute. Wait, no, Victon. Victon was the victor stride without, uh, G-flipping. Tribrute is when you stand a card, counterblast one, retire something with equal- give it 2k, give, retire something with equal or less power. You don't run that, because one, counterblasts exist, two, like, you kind of want to save, save counterblast for victor, but also it doesn't persona flip, so it doesn't fuel your game state of killing with victor. And, um, the original victor, if you have the right setup, you know, that setup gained from your eight friggin' draw triggers. Um, if you have the right setup, you can kill your opponent first strike because it's a very aggro deck. You can't do that if you're on Tribrute, really. So, yeah, I don't run Tribrute. You really only need these nine, and you don't run more than two. You don't run more than one favorite champ because you discard so much. If you didn't kill your opponent, you deserve to lose. Not only do you just deserve to lose, but also you will probably lose because your hand will be hilariously small. So on to the six G guards. We're running two copies of Medio Kaiser Unior, which is uh, the new G guard from set 10. It's pretty nice. It's when you guard with it, if you have no face up damage, counter charge two, and if you have no soul, soul charge two, and if you do either of them, you get five, and if you do both, you get 10. So it's a G guard that gives you resources, but you also have to already be low on resources, so it's a bit hard to proc. But this deck, if you, because of this card and the counter blastless stride skill from excessive, you can you you don't really need to use counter blast sparingly. You can go as hard as you want. Single G guard gets you two of them back. So I, it's a pretty nice card to have. One copy of Brutalu Prison because it's a free five k, generic, dismal to protect your important rear guards like. Um, uh, Cool Hank and Sever Temper. Ogleam, which is on G Guard, discard a card, draw, because it gets you into your deck faster and gets your combo pieces quicker. And Scry You, because you know of your eight freaking draw triggers, you have enough hand to discard. Can eight, or is eight draws going to be a meme now? Like, is it gonna be like Dungaree? Did I just do that to myself? No. Okay, cool. Eight draws are mad to do it to- do it in all of your decks, even Royal Paladin. Um, yeah. That's the deck. It's a fun deck, because you run a lot of draw triggers, and you get to play Nova Grappler with hand. Um, mess around with it. It's nice. Play Buddy Fight. It's still a better game. Um, bots can attack about as much times as Nova Grapplers can. Uh, yeah, that's a- that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you on the rebound.